restaurant owners, I, I don't know if you call them restauranteurs, or, but I mean, I've heard this from others that are running small businesses all around the, the metro area. I haven't talked to them as much uh, outstate, just maybe Duluth and Moorhead, but smaller towns. I hear it mostly here in the Twin Cities, and I didn't realize that it could be that great. And somebody could be taking uh, home well over $100,000 uh, as a servant. Isn't that just the free market working here so people just, you know, reaping the benefits of hard work? You know, Brian, the answer to that would be yes, if you didn't have a minimum wage law. Then you could say that it was the free market working, because then they could hire employees at a, uh, a living wage, taking into account the, the tips that they're taking home. But what we've done in essence is set the floor as to what they must get paid, regardless of what they get to take home in tips. And we love the people that are serving. But you know, when it, you could kill the uh, goose that lays the golden egg, which is the owner of the business, uh, they're going to end up suffering as well. I mean, if these guys can't continue to operate, then they can't continue to take advantage of uh, the opportunity. Uh, so you got to keep both in mind, and I would agree with you, it's the free market uh, only up until you start talking about the minimum wage law. Are you suggesting you repeal minimum wage law? Well, I don't know that you can do that. I mean, we talked about that before.